I think really we were created in different tribes and nations so that we, we may get to know one another. Right? The only way we can eliminate racism is if we walk a mile in each other's shoes. And I think sometimes bad things bring us together. England is better now because of what's happened. Because look, England is one of the best, in fact, the best country to live in. Bar none. But look what happened. Rich country. But we were fighting for food in supermarkets. We were losing our jobs. Our hospitals were crowded. We were trying to get into other countries and they weren't letting us in. But the weather was fantastic. <laughs> For one summer, England felt what it was like to be African. And, uh, <laughs> the most amazing thing is this, right? We had no toilet roll. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely no toilet roll. So people in England had to learn the proper way <laughs> <laughs> to use tabloid newspapers. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm just I'm looking. Don't use them for that. They're full of... Anyway, what I'm saying is, the newspapers came out, I don't think... I don't think that they spread knowledge. I think they teach us to hate and teach us to fear, right? Newspapers came out online and tried to scapegoat Muslims. They came out and said, yes, yes, yes. COVID is a threat to Great Britain, but not as great a threat as Islam. <laughs> I'm like, bro, how are you just going to throw us under the bridge like that? We took a holiday from being public enemy number one. It really upset me. So I went out for one of my government mandated half an hour walks that normally took about five hours. And <laughs> They never call me because I wrap my phone in foil. But I went out. <laughs> out you know, they, they constantly make Muslims out to be this force that's trying to take over Great Britain. They, they, they try and make us as if we're trying to change the culture here. And it was so upsetting, right? They think we're at war with England, we're not. But while I was out, I noticed the people weren't shaking hands. They were walking far apart from each other. The pubs were closed. And people were covering their faces. I was like, oh. 